What's up quarter pounders? Welcome back to my channel. My name's Wave Potter and today I have another patron request from Glenn Black. So thank you so much Glenn. I really appreciate you. And this is actually someone Glenn Black has met in person, plays poker with him, and is also on the Guitar World Top 50 Fastest Guitarists of All Time. This is Guy Man Dude. <laughs> who recently re-released an album, Guy Man Dude's Manic Distortion. So if you enjoy what you see in this video, definitely go check this out. But the video Glenn wanted me to look at was this Throwback Thursday video from the Musicians Institute Library. I'm not sure of a year on this, but it definitely looks like it was recorded to tape. So it'll be a little nostalgic for people who grew up watching VHSs. Now, as a multi-instrumentalist, actually played drums for 10 years before getting into heavy metal. He played drums with Steve Vai, and then also was a shredding guitarist, according to his Wikipedia wikipedia page also plays piano so pretty cool multi-instrumentalist but glenn said on this video he's on guitar just a quick heads up this is a reaction and analysis video so i will be pausing but if you just want to watch the original video go support the original artist channel that said if you're excited to see this pound that like button subscribe and ring that buddy bell and if this is your first time here i started playing drums when i was two years old i went on to become a multi-instrumentalist and play in many bands and now i like to make one-man band covers and watch other musicians play music, react, analyze, and break it down. Break it down! Some insane finger picking. Looks like he learned some things from watching Steve Vai while he was drumming for him. That's total Steve Vai move right there. <laughs> He's got a really great drummer too. Wow. So for a multi-instrumentalist to be this good at guitar is really impressive because usually people who become multi-instrumentalists are kind of ADHD. For me, it was because, you know, I was like on drums and then I wanted to learn guitar and just kept moving on to more and more things. Usually they don't put in the time and dedication to really master one instrument or maybe they master one, but they don't master any others. But the fact that he's this good at guitar after being a drummer for so long is really cool. He's really put the time and effort into getting to this point. He's got a really strong pinky. Great pinky control. A lot of guitars don't use their pinky much. When I was in high school, when I would be in the computer lab, 
uh, I would put on headphones and I would watch drum solos on YouTube. Yeah, that was like when YouTube was first around. That was the th- first thing I ever tried to find on YouTube was drum solos. I was so into them after seeing Charlie Adams, Yanni's drummer, play a drum solo. And that's how I got into like Led Zeppelin. Moby Dick was the first thing that really grabbed me. Drum solos were just so cool to me. And they still are. Like, this really takes me back to when I was developing as a musician and (laughs) watching old VHS. You know, you could see the the lines. Just such a nostalgic look. And there were tons of drum solos on YouTube with this look and this feel. Great dynamics. Dang, this is a good drummer. Wow, I love how he's got swing in his double kick. And dynamic. Cool. Ha. Huh. Great double stroke kick technique. Dang. Okay, he must have taken a lot of influence from Steve Vai because he's got the facial expressions. He uses a lot of the same techniques. It's cool to see how one guitarist influenced another. Chromatic walk down there. Love those intervals. Very cool. Well, thank you so much for sharing that, Glenn. I really appreciate it. Again, this guy just re-released an album, I guess after 29 years, which would mean it originally came out in 91, the year I was born. It was called Manic Distortion. It's on Bandcamp. So if you're interested in that, go check that out. But that's where I'm going to wrap it up. So thank you so much, Glenn. Thank you to all my patrons for your support on these videos. And if you want requests from me, you can always join my Patreon. Or you can go to my website linked below. Make a one-time request, and then I will make your video. And also, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to pound like, subscribe, ring that buddy bell if you want to. Anyway, that's where I'm going to wrap it up. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you next time. <laughs>